Welcome to sportsbookreview.com. I'm Flash, and this is baseball. It's going to be CPBL and the KBO in South Korea. Jay, we had a great day yesterday. We had winners, we had leans, but the two ones we went for the minus 1.5s, they go, got beat outright. Yeah, that was, it, it's, baseball is a weird sport. It's a weird game. It's going to happen plenty of times when you have a lot of favorites. It's not like basketball. It's not like football. The favorites will lose sometimes, and um, the value is definitely on the underdogs, um, as we're going to look into today. Okay, let me just get the uh, housework out of the way. Then, if you like this video, then please subscribe, press the button, and give us a thumbs up. The thumbs up is an appreciation for Jay's hard work. And also, if you press the link in the description, then you can go over and see Jay's article. There's not just Jay's articles there. There's other writers and there's other sports. Remember, pressing the subscribe button means that we will be able to notify you and you will not miss any content ever again. Jay, we've got two games coming up in the CPBL. And uh, we're going to start with the Brothers and the Guardians. Yeah, I'm getting tired of the CPBL right now. <laughs> just when you think you, you kind of figured it out, it's just all these wrinkles and, and everything. The Monkeys, they're only one game above uh, in the standings. Now the Brothers are coming in. They could, if they win and the Monkeys lose tomorrow morning, well, then it's tied in the standings. Who would have ever thought two and a half weeks ago? So, yeah, I'm, my official play for this one is the Brothers plus 110. The Brothers have won five straight games. They went 5-0 and oh last week, and now they're underdogs in this one. They're facing Mike Worry of the Fubon Guardians, who, again, we've always talked about as highly regarded as one of the best pitchers in the league. But then also, on the, on the other hand, the Brothers have Jose DePaula on the mound, and he's pitched really well in his last two starts as well. So it's a really close game. I don't really know which way to go, but I do know that there's a lot more value on the brothers' side. Just knowing that these teams are very close, the brothers are a much better hitting team. They're a much better team overall. Just look at the standings. And if DePaul pitches the way he's pitched, he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Lurie. So therefore, our brothers have plus 110 as an official play. Also lean towards the under 11.5 with these two aces on the mound, of course. Under what? It'll be 11.5. Okay, 11.5. You never know with that CPBL, though. They go a bit nuts, but I'm sure that the brothers, the bond they've got between them, and well, you'd expect it for them all being brothers, but, I mean, they're just gelling so well. I'm winning the last five, and you're getting plus money. So, yeah, I think you'd have to uh, ride that brother train. Now move on. What about the monkeys and the lions? The monkeys, on it, as you say, they get beat and the brothers win. They're no longer sitting at the top. Yeah. I'm going to lean on the Uni Lions at plus 160. Again, now the Monkeys are minus 200 once again. I'm not saying the Monkeys are the worst are, are worse than the Uni Lions in this matchup. Justin Nicolino is the better pitcher than Su Chin Shi of the Uni Lions. But at the end of the day, there's no way the Monkeys, who they can't, they, they, I think that they've won three of the last seven games or maybe two of their last eight, from what I remember, they're not minus 200 favorites. They're just. There's just no way you can convince me that they're minus 200 favorites. So, therefore, I would lean towards the Union Lions at plus 160. My official play would be over 13.5 in this matchup. Justin Nicolino, he's on and off. He's hot and cold. I mean, when he's playing against poor pitching, he performs poorly. When he's facing really good pitching, he performs a little bit better. He's facing Su Chin Shi, who's got a uh, 6.57 ERA and a 6.76. FIP. I don't think Nicolino is going to be pitching nearly as well as he has in, when he pitches against better competition. Therefore, I like the over 13.5 as an official play. Again, the CBBL is really, really difficult right now. So if you're really looking to, you know, put high wagers on or make a lot of money, the KBO is kind of where it's at right now. But the CPBL is still, still fun. We're still figuring it out a little bit here and there, but it's a lot more riskier right now how things are playing out compared to the KBO. Jay, if you have people at home and they're thinking, oh, uni lines at plus 160, yeah, I mean, great value. But we're always talking about teams winning and saying minus 1.5. Is there anything like the uni lines plus 1.5? Yeah, that's, you can definitely absolutely do that. Because in the CPBL, in, in contrast to the KBO, the CPBL, we've seen a ton of one-run games with the bullpen blowing games and just able to close out off of, um, you know, a guy on third base with one out and somehow they're able to close it out. It's been wild. So, yeah, absolutely. You can go uni lines 
uh, with plus 1.5. I like the more value at plus 160. I think if they're going to be in this game, they'll probably probably win outright just from Nick Oigner. Just the monkey's bullpen has been atrocious. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you can absolutely do that. I like more value at plus 160, but in the CPBL, absolutely you can do the point of the 1.5 uh, run lines. You could do both, to be fair. You could do both because then obviously you know that if you're going to get beat by that one run, you're still going to maybe <laughs> save your stake on the plus 160. But no, listen, we love 160s, especially when there's a plus in front of it. Right, let's get into the meat. Come on. KBO, we're going to go Tigers and the Wiz. We got the Tigers right yesterday. Are we going Tigers again? Yeah, we're definitely going Tigers again. I'm an official play at around minus 165. All of these plays seem to be kind of going up a little bit with import pitchers pitching. So if you see this now, you might want to get it now um, because it might be a little bit more by the morning. Um, Aaron Brooks is on the mound for Kia Tigers. He's their ace pitcher, an import pitcher. He's got a 3.13 ERA and a 3.32 FIP. He's got 31 strikeouts, and he's only allowed 13 earned runs in six starts. And then he's, he's going up against uh, Kim Min of uh, KT. In five starts, he has a 7.83 ERA and a 7.16 FIP. Um, yeah, so right off the bat, you just know that Brooks is a better pitcher in this matchup. It's going to be tough for the Kia hitters. They just lost Kim Sun Bin um, yesterday to an injury. So he's our second baseman. He was hitting like 340. So... It's gonna be, we don't really know what happened with him, but I, I highly, highly, highly doubt that he plays this the, the remainder of this series. Um, lefties are hitting 373 against Min. Um, Preston Tucker is the leading RBI guy in the KBO. He's a lefty. Um, could have a big day against Kim Min. So I think that the Tigers have just – just, there's a lot more going for the Tigers in this matchup. But we know that KT has been good at home um, this season. However, they're struggling lately. They've lost five straight games, and their offense does not look nearly as good as it did, um, you know, towards not in the beginning of the season, but in the meat of the beginning of the season after, like, two weeks. So, yeah, I would go with official play of the Tigers and minus 165 in this matchup. Okay, what's the uh, what's the total? Yesterday we went under 10.5 on a lean, and that came up trumps for those that followed you. What's the total this time? It's also 10.5. I'm going to lean towards under 10.5. This is a scary one because right now, KT, they're not, they're not playing well offensively. Kia, they, they've never been a really good offensive team. You have Brooks, who's been performing really well, and then Kim Min, who hasn't been, hasn't been performing well as of late. I think that Kia will score enough runs to win this game, of course. It's just... I don't know how many they'll be able to score. The Kias, they're not the best offensive team. They just lost one of their better hitters. So I think this game is another under game. Kia Tigers love playing under games, but not the best offensive team. And the KT Wiz, their offense has been really struggling. They're on a five-game losing streak. And until they prove to me that they can score some runs, I'll just keep hitting the under in this one, which is still a lean, but of course. Yeah, I mean, the Wiz are sitting second from bottom. I mean, them and the Eagles, they're the two worst sides in the KBO. So just like you ride the train of, of the teams that keep winning, ride the train of the teams that keep losing because winning's a habit, losing's a habit as well, and a lot of people don't realise that. OK, let's crack straight on, and then we're going to go with the Bears and the Dinos. Dinos, five-game cushion at the top now. Yeah, the Dinos, they're, they're so good. I mean, we have Aaron Altair in their lineup. He bats like seventh or eighth in that lineup, and he is now second in RBIs in the entire league, and he's batting seventh and eighth in the lineup. So that just shows you how talented the Dinos lineup is. And now they have Drew Rosinski on the mound, who's their best, or not their best pitcher, he's their best import pitcher. They have, they, they have a ton of great pitchers like like Mo, like Chang Mo, and, and Mike Wright, and whatever. They're, they're, an, they're just an incredible team, left and right. Um, and so, yeah, Rosinski has a 2.11 ERA and a 3.12 FIP. But he's going up against Raul Alcantara, another import pitcher of the Deuce and Bears. He's got a 4.63 ERA and a 4.38 FIP. But we've already talked about him before in his last start. We said, we're just waiting for that moment for him to blow up. He's not pitching that well um, in these games. And I think the Dinos offense is so great that I think Alcantara might struggle in this uh, matchup. I'm not saying we're just going to pitch really well in this game either. He's a right-handed pitcher. The Bears have a lot of left-handed bats. And Rosinski struggles against lefties. 
but so does Alcantara. So, yeah, I would lean towards the Dinos at minus 1.5. I think Rosinski is a better pitcher. I think, obviously, the bullpen for the Dinos are much better. I think the lineup of the Dinos is better than the Deucin Bears, even when Deucin is at, on the road. So I would lean towards the Dinos minus 1.5, and I would also lean on the over 10.5. And we already talked about this, how in-port pitchers playing against each other usually hit the under. Well, you know, this morning we saw the hand Wolaki game that had two import pitchers that went over. So I think that trend's a little too um, small of a sample size. I think this one goes over with two really good offenses um, against each other. Okay, and if you're watching this video and there's a comment section underneath, then please leave a comment and I will try and respond to it. My first question to those that want to leave a comment is, is it Dinos or Dinos? NC Dinos or NC Dinos? Because Jay's saying Dinos and he's completely throwing me. Uh, okay, Heroes and the Lions. Heroes, I can trust. The Lions, I don't want to put my hand in their mouth because they always seem to bite me. Yeah, this is such a trap game, I feel like, because whenever we, we take a team that is definitely going to win minus 1.5, it somehow backfires every single time. But I'm still going to go after it. I'm still going to say the Key Room Heroes are going to win at minus 195 as the money line play. Uh, that line is going drastically up now. So by the time people are able to see this, it's going to be minus 250 or whatever. So Ooh. at that point, I recommend minus 1.5, whatever the juice is there um, on that. But we'll, you know, later on, we'll get into that using Key Room as a parlay so that you can make your money off of Key Room instead of just taking the minus 195. So we'll get into that later. But you know, it'll be an official play with Key Room minus 195. We'll also lean towards the over 10, and that's a risky play as well, so it's definitely a lean. We have Eric Jokic on the mound for Kiboom. He's 5-0 and with a 1.49 ERA and a 2.4 FIP. He's one of the better pitchers in the KBO, not even close. He's been dominating. Um, Samsung has struggled against left-handed pitching. Jokic, the left-handed pitcher, Samsung's hitting 195 against lefties. Um, so Jokic is in for a really, really good day. Um, and then on Samsung's side, they have Jung Hyun Buck on the mound. He's 0-3 with a 10.29 ERA and an FIP of 7.13. Um, yeah, he's had 12 walks in three games, 28 hits in three games. And like Jokic, he has 29 hits. He's allowed 29 hits in six games. Well, Buck, he's allowed 28 hits in three oh. games. So it's such a big difference. And Kiwoom, the hit with they, it, it, Box is also lefty. They hit lefties uh, three oh, with a 304 average. Um, and Key Room has won six of the last seven games. I'm easily taking Key Room as an official play at minus 195. Yeah, I would absolutely recommend minus 1.5 if it comes down to it. If I can get, if I can ever get Key Room under minus 200, I'll take that and I'll put a little extra cash on it. But if it's minus 1.5, definitely take it without a doubt. This one seems like a too good to be true moment. And I really hope it's not. But, you know, whatever. I think uh, Kiwum could get the job done. Jay, if you're taking the heroes at 1.5, what would I say? You would say 2.5, 3.5, maybe even 4.5. Come on, then. This, this uh, 2.5, be... <laughs> come on. Let's get the proper value, 2.5. But again, it's against the Lions, so anything can happen. But we are actually cheering on Kiwum. They're a decent outfit, but listen to some of the uh, Lions on their day. OK, a team that are not decent, and I'm not having them. I know you tried to have them yesterday. But the Eagles... With 10 new players on the roster, a new manager, they go into the Lottie Giants, and the Lottie Giants said, thank you very much, and we'll see you again tomorrow. It's the Eagles versus the Giants, Jay. Oh, man. I, I was so disappointed this morning when Hanwa uh, played that poorly. I, I really expected more out of them. I thought they had more motivation. I thought two pulled would pitch well. And he did pitch well for the first three innings, got caught in the fourth inning, and then it was... Downhill from there, but uh, again, you know, Hanwha has a good pitcher on the mound. You know, um, Kidman Wu, he shut down Latte in his first in, in one of his starts against Latte before. He, he went seven innings and only allowed two hits and one run. So he pitched really well against Latte in his uh, first start against them. And, you know, Min Wu also dominates righties. Um, they're hitting 173 against him in 75 plate appearances. And the Giants mainly have a right handed lineup. So, 
it's really, really hard to lean either way. Again, I'm not touching this game. I'm not touching Hanwa or Lati ever until they play <laughs> other teams because yeah, we're just not doing it. But um, yeah, if I had to lean, again, I would go Hanwa at minus 1.5 at around minus 115. We already saw Min Wu, uh, you know, play well against Lati in his first outing against them. And, um, you know, how uh, it, this, this can't last forever, right? So I think Hanwa at some point with plus 1.5, maybe they keep this game close with, with Min Wu on the mound and um, no Kayong Un of Latte. He is pitching for, uh, you know, for Latte, like I said, he has a 6.58 ERA and a 5.41 FIP. This game's a lot closer than some might want to uh, make it seem. Yeah, I'm going to take plus 1.5 on Hanwa. Um, I think this is the first time they've ever taken plus 1.5 in any CPPL or KBL action. But at this point, yeah, I think this. I, th- I think Minwoo can can do a decent enough job to keep the game close. So I'll do that, and then also lean towards the over ten in that matchup. Yeah, I was going to say, what is the uh, total? Because obviously, with the way that these two sides are, they can they can put up a proper score. Um, the big the big problem I have is that they like lost sixteen in a row or something. The Eagles, and <laughs> and they're like a flip them favorite. Yeah, you know they're they lost fifteen straight and. You know, I think they, they're looking back at Kim, Kim Min Woo's performance in his last game against Lati where he got the win. Wow. And, you know, they, they won. He, he got the win. Seven innings, only about two hits and one run. He's got a really good, um, you know, average against right-handed batters. And Lati is the right-handed batters. And it showed in that first game. So, yeah, there's definitely an edge to the pitchers, to the pitching on Hanwha in this matchup. But, again, it's really tough to say Hanwha's a favorite when they've lost 15 straight games. And Lati's won five straight games. So that's why there's a little, you know, difference there. But at the end of the day, Hanwell has a better, you know, better pitcher going. Well, let's hope I haven't got my mystic flash hat on and I've gone for, because I say I said that they've lost 16 in a row. So let's hope that I'm not right <laughs> and we'll have a chat about that tomorrow. And the last game is the Wyverns versus the Twins. And the Wyverns get another win. And now they're third from bottom. I swear, the Twins have lost me the most money so far since doing the KBO. It's been every time, man. They, they somehow they just find a way. They blew that four nothing game. Then they just they had guys on on uh, bases loaded with one out in the eighth and ninth inning this morning. Couldn't get the job done or win the game. It's just been pathetic by the Twins. But I'm still rolling with the Twins here. Do it again, man. Whatever. Official play of the Twins at minus 155 is definitely going up now uh, by the time you see this, but I would still recommend the Twins because they have Lin Min Ho on the mound. He's, he was the most highly regarded prospect coming out of high school um, last year. He's a rookie pitcher. He's got a 1.1 ERA in a 3.79 FIP. Um, the Wyverns have struggled against lefties, and they're just hitting 234 against lefties like Min Ho, who's a lefty. Um, but then also, on the other hand, you got the Twins. They're, they're struggling offensively right now, and it's tough because Tehun is walking a lot of batters, and if the Twins can just stay patient up there at the plate, I think they have a good chance at winning this game. Um, Kim Tehun has a 4.94 ERA and a 5.4 FIP. So there's definitely the, the, the Twins are definitely the favorites in this matchup. They have a lot going for them. It's just they lost their, their last series against, I think it was Samsung. And then now if they lose, you know, the, tomorrow morning, then they lose another series. And for a top team, losing against the bottom tier of, of teams like SK and Samsung or whatever, it just doesn't make any sense right now. Um, and so I'm hoping the Twins can figure it out in the second game and then start a winning streak maybe or something. And with Lin Min Ho on the mound, I, I think they have a chance. What's the total? The total will be uh, will be ten, but I'll, I'll lean towards the under ten with Lee Min Ho on the mound. The Twins' offense has been struggling as of late. They scored eight runs on uh, what was it Sunday, but yeah, you just for the Twins, it's just it's just really hard to figure them out right now. But you know, I'm not going to touch the uh, the Bears Dinos game. I'm not going to touch the Hanwell Lotsy game. So I'm going to have to touch the Twins game and hope that the Twins can uh, to, could win me back some money after losing so much. Uh, for the first, what, month of the season. 
All right, well, let me cheer you up a little bit and send you back to Taiwan for your <laughs> other favourite games. And give me a lowdown, a rundown. Uh, you said you mentioned parlay and obviously a banker, please. So with the Monkeys, the Uni Lions game, we're going to take the official play of the over 13.5. And I know that on some books is going to 14.5. Uh, you know, I, I would recommend 13.5, but if you have to take the 14.5, I don't think that's such a big deal. But still, look at 13.5. There's still some books that have it. And then also, I would lean towards the Uni Lions at plus 160 in that matchup. Um, for the Guardians and Brothers game, my official play will be the Brothers at plus 110. Make sure you get them at underdog value. Don't take them at minus 105. Take them at plus money because there's definitely books that have that as well. Also, lean towards the under 11.5 in that matchup. Then for the Hanwell Eagles and Latvia Giants, we're going to go with the uh, lean on the Hanwell Eagles at plus 1.5. I know we're going to get a lot of comments on that. I get it, but I just got to do what I got to do. And then also we're going to lean towards the over 10 in that matchup. Uh, Nakia Tigers, KT Riz game. We're going to go with the official Tigers, minus 165. We'll lean on the under 10.5 in that matchup. And the Deuce and Bears, NC Dinos game. We'll lean towards the NC Dinos at minus 1.5. We'll also lean on the over 10.5 in that matchup. SK Wyverns and LG Twins, the official play of the Twins at minus 155. Also lean on the under 10 in that matchup. And then lastly, the Key Room Heroes versus Samsung Lions. We'll do an official play of the Key Room Heroes at minus 195. And we'll lean on the over 10 in that matchup. And for the parlay, we'll do Key Room and Kia, two of the better import pitchers facing against Four are against uh, local pitching. We can get at plus 125 right now, which is solid for two very good pitchers. So that will be the parlay, and I'll be taking it as an official parlay play. Um, and then also the banker will be um, Kibum at minus 195 or Kibum at minus 1.5. I don't think it will matter in this matchup. Yeah, I'll, I'll ride with Kibum minus 195, but if it's in the 200 range, Definitely go minus 1.5. Either way, it's a banker play. Either way, they're going to win by more than two. Nice one, Jay. I like that. There's a lot of positivity there. Um, obviously, I can't ride with you with them Eagles, and, but uh, I'll be, we'll be definitely cheering you on. Now, listen, if you've liked Jay's efforts here, then please subscribe because that means that you like it and we will keep doing it. Uh, thumbs up on your way out. It shows appreciation for Jay. And obviously, you ring the bell and we will notify you and you will never miss any content. And if you press the link in the description, then you can go over and read Jay's articles, not just Jay's articles over there. There's other writers for other sports. Jay... Let's go. Let's go and let's have a clean sweep. And let's get them CPBL, both with plus numbers. Let's get them in the bag. Yeah, it's going to be a fun morning tomorrow. Um, a lot of import pitchers going, so it's going to be a lot of fun. And right. uh, let's get some sleep before. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. You get your head down. You take it easy. And remember, if you're watching at home, then please put a comment in there. I will try and reply to it. I will timestamp all the games so you can like just press on the button and go and uh, listen to what Jay said. And I'll even timestamp the parlay. See you tomorrow. Take care.